Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm showcasing the Tonic Craft Kit of the month and uh, just like always let's take a quick look on what you get this month and then I'm going to use different products from the kit to create three cards. So let's start with the mediums. First of all you get a bottle of Nouveau Crystal Drops. This has a glossy finish and the color is party pink. You also get a mini jar of uh, glacier paste. The color is mambo melon and I'm just going to swatch it for you with my spatula. This is great to apply over your stencils or directly with a spatula for some texture. This is a mini glitter drop and the color is sugar plum, really shiny. I will zoom in later on so you can see all the shine on these uh, mediums. And now this is a glitter pen. They have a whole collection of them. They write beautifully. All you have to do is to shake it, to prep it for the first time. Just uh, push the nib up and down until you see the ink flow to the nib. And you have to do that only once. So now everything you write down is going to be super glittery and if you are into calligraphy plus you can apply water and move the color so it works like a watercolor. Now here is a close-up look on all the mediums where you can probably see better the shine. You will also get a mini mica mist. The color is pampas grass and I like that they give you different mediums in the kit so you can play around, see if you like the medium and then you can get your favorite colors. Now this is a mica mist which means that it's going to be super shiny when it dries and I absolutely love this color, I think it is very subtle, perfect for backgrounds. You will also get a jar of glitter that I forgot to show you in this video. I got the Dragonfly Wings color but you will get one from the Tropical collection. Now let's move on to the 6x6 paper pad. This one includes 24 papers, they are all double sided and uh, you get four different designs, so six papers for each design. You can see them all at the front, they are very subtle, great for backgrounds. Now just like always you will get the envelope and the exclusive uh, sticker that I always like to stick there and this is where you can store your stamps and dies. Now let's take a look at the stamp set this month, you get three different uh, sentiments and a couple of leaves. And now let's take a look at the ties which are absolutely beautiful this month. Now mine come in a large uh, cardstock but that's because this is a prototype. In your kit you will have the, everything nicely tucked inside your envelope. So let's take a look. I'm going to take all out of this uh, cardstock and uh, I lay them on my glass mat so you can see better what you get. First of all you get a sentiment. This one reads uh, warmest wishes perfect for pretty much any occasion, in a lovely script and there is also a die that cuts out the outline so you can combine them both if you like. There are also a couple of uh, different designs of butterflies but their shape is exactly the same, the outside, so that means that uh, this outline fits both the butterflies and you can mix and match those dies as well. I will be using those in one of my cards today. Now here are the lovely borders, I am absolutely in love with them, they create beautiful elements for your cards, really elegant, they have uh, this hibiscus flower along with uh, the leaves and this one is going to cut out one side but this side is not going to cut out the paper which means that it's going to give a lovely lace look, if you want to cut it out then you can use this die that fits perfectly there and I think that if you cut it out like that it's going to look like a leaf as well or like a feather. And it's the same with the next die, this has a lovely leaf design and on the right side it's not going to cut out unless you are going to combine this uh, die. Now for the third one it's not going to cut out on the left and on the right, it's only going to give you the beautiful lace design on top of your paper. But if you want to cut out you can combine these two dies on either side so you can mix and match. I love that you get uh, one of those envelopes in each kit so this way you can store your dies and the matching uh, sentiments from each kit and you have everything together and nice, nicely stored. Now let's move on to the cardstock. You get a lovely collection, some of them are shiny, they have embossed or designs on top of them. Their cardstock is always so pretty that it makes it super hard to cut it out. So let's move on to the first card for today. 
and I'm going for a very elegant looking card, so I will use this wonderful cardstock to cut out this die. I'm securing everything down with some purple tape, and I'm also going to align this die on top, secure that as well with some purple tape, and run it through my die cutting machine. So this is what you get, it's a lovely design, it would stand alone on top of a white card, uh, just stick a sentiment on top of it and it would make a beautifully elegant card. But for today I decided to do something different, I'm going to uh, create a decorative edge with this one. So I'm going to grab one of my pre-folded white cards and um, this is a standard card size that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to work on the front flap. I am temporarily securing the design down so that I know exactly where I need to use this die. I'm going to secure the die with purple tape again. I'm going to remove my die cut and then run this card through my die cutting machine. This way I will have a lovely decorative edge on my card. I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back of my die cut and then secure it on top of my card making sure that I align the edge of the card correctly. The lovely elegant design along with that uh, shiny cardstock really make the card and uh, to tell you the truth it would make a lovely anniversary card. It doesn't need to add too much on it. I love how simple it looks but so elegant. However, I'm going to add a few touches here and there just to show you how you can take it a step further. So I will use this lovely cardstock from the kit and I need to have some cutouts from the area where the leaves are. That's why I'm going to cut out just a small piece of this cardstock, align it directly on top of uh, the area that I want to cut and run it through my die cutting machine. So I'm going for the inlay die cutting uh, technique where I'm going to add bits and pieces from the leaves inside my main cutout. That's why I'm not going to pop out all the elements from this die. I'm just going to pop out only the ones that I don't want. Then I'm going to pay, take uh, some glue and apply the glue inside the areas where I want to have the extra cardstock. And for that I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue. And then I'm going to lay over my die. It's going to... Uh, Click nicely directly on top and then with my pick tool I'm going to press the little bits and pieces of cardstock. They are going to fall inside the lines and since there is glue there already they're going to stick nicely there. Now you don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just pop out all the elements and just uh, place them one by one. But I find that this is the easiest method, really quick and simple, and you don't have to fuzz around with all those little pieces trying to, to find out where everything fits. So here is a lovely detail of the leaves. And if you want to give your card a little bit more contrast, you can cut out from the same cardstock a thin strip of paper and stick it on the inside flap of your card. This way you will be able to see this color from the front but you still get enough blank area on the inside where you can write your message. I'm just going to use my scissors here to chop off any excess paper. And just because I love details, I can go on adding more and more on a card even when I want to keep it simple. So here I'm going to add a line of glue with my Nouveau Deluxe. And then I have cut out some uh, a very thin, thin strip of uh, cardstock. This is the um, shiny one that I used for the main design. And I'm going to align it there just to add some extra sign on the inside. Now as a sentiment you have many options, there is a stamp set in the kit lots, with lots of sentiments on top, there is also the die cut, I decided to go super small for this card and I just stamped from another set that I had in my stash, make a wish, and I white embossed it on the green cardstock. Now I'm going to embellish my card just a little bit more, I have this sequence from the kit that match perfectly the color of the green cardstock, that's why I'm going to spread some around. I am absolutely in love with this card, I think it looks so elegant and beautiful. And here are some close-up photos where you can see that on top of the little sequence I went ahead and added some green gems since I had pretty much the same color in my stash. 
Now moving on to the second card and again I'm going for a very elegant look with gold and white. And this would work great for an anniversary card which I'm making but it would be a great card for weddings as well. And you can see that I'm working here on the front flap of my standard card. But um, you will see later on that I'm going to change my mind. For now you can see the beautiful design. I'm going to just pop out all the bits and pieces. It creates this lovely lace look. And then I'm going to lay on top the other tie. Secure it again down with some washi tape and run it through my die cutting machine again. So this way you, you can create pretty much the same look as the first card with a decorative edge. But this is where I'm changing my mind. I'm going to bring in my die cutting machine and completely cut off this flap so that I can use it as a standalone element. This is going to be slightly smaller. So you see I'm cutting out all the white borders. And the idea is to have a lovely panel that I can lay on top of this lovely uh, golden iridescent cardstock that I used in the previous card as well. And you can see all those colors coming through the beautiful lace design. So now I'm going to use the die again over that gold cardstock so that I can have the same decorative edge and I can match those two panels together easily. Now I have both my panels ready. I'm going to use my white Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back and stick one on top of the other. I'm not going to bother adding a glue on all the details at the back of this lovely design. Just some dots here and there will do. Also notice that the gold cardstock is slightly bigger than my white panel. So it leaves a border all around. I just love to see the shine, however this border was quite big so you can see here it's slightly smaller just because I used my paper trimmer to cut out a thin strip all around. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment and again you can use a sentiment from the kit, there are plenty of them. You can also use um, uh, the die cut, however I was going for an anniversary card so I just uh, looked through my stash and I'm using happy anniversary as my sentiment for this, directly stamping on my card base here. I used foam tape at the back of my panel, placed it directly on top of my card base and completed the sentiment with the word anniversary. So here is the lovely card, I absolutely love how this shines through. And here are some close-up photos. For the last card I'm going to play with the butterflies and there is this tie that cuts out the butterfly and I cut out two of those and then I run it through my die cutting machine with more seams and you can use that embossing rubber made sure that it's not going to cut out through the details. So bad die cutting technique here so this way I have the exact same shape without those little bits and pieces popped out. I'm bringing in my Nouveau alcohol markers and I'm going to color all the inside details and I don't care if I go outside the lines, you will see later on I'm going to cover those up completely with the main die cut. So I'm going rainbow order and if you have some bits and pieces falling out from the die cut then all you have to do is just use some uh, double sided tape at the back. You see on my right butterfly one of those pieces fell off but I'm going to fix it in a minute. So I'm adding my purple here and although this looks super messy I'm going to stick on top the lovely decorative design and it's going to look beautiful. So let me fix that uh, little bottom there where I have that piece missing. I'm going to place it inside and stick it at the back with some double sided tape. This is going to make sure that none of these pieces are going to fall. And sorry I'm working outside of the camera I didn't realize that I was out of frame here. I'm just adding some double sided tape at the back. So now I can use my Nouveau Deluxe glue on my die cut and stick one butterfly on top of the other. And this way you have a lovely element for your card. Now I'm going to show you a fun technique how you can take this 
a butterfly, make it dimensional and take it a step further. So that, that's why I created a second butterfly which is identical. So I'm going to stick that on top. And then I'm going to use my fingers and curl up one of those wings. You can use your fingers or you can use your bone folder if that makes it easier for you. And then I'm going to stick one butterfly on top of the other and this way you get both wings for your butterfly. A lovely decorative element, really dimensional and you know I love dimension. As you stick them down, make sure that you don't align those wings perfectly. This way you can see more of the one that is underneath. Now I used my uh, dies to cut out this panel, just a rectangle die and a circle inside. I'm not going for a shaker card, but this would make a great shaker card as well. I'm stamping my sentiment and for that I went with happy birthday. I used my Nouveau ink cubes for that in lovely colors that match the wings of my butterfly. So nothing black here. And the colors I used are Panama Rose and Rubber Duck. And now it's time to put my card together. At the back of my uh, panel I'm adding some glue and I'm going to stick this piece of pattern paper from the paper pad. And then on top I'm going to stick my butterfly. This way I have uh, a contrasting background so the butterfly stands out even more. And then I'm going to bring in another pattern paper from the pad, the yellow one, which I'm going to cut to be four and a quarter by five and a half, so it is going to completely cover up my card front. I have foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick it at the center. And I'm going to finish it off by adding a trail to my butterfly. This is my Nouveau Dream Drops in a lovely color. It's probably my favorite out of all from their collection. This is Cloud9, it has an iridescent shine and it's perfect for pretty much any project, it matches every color. And here are some close-up photos on the last card for today where you can see all the dimension in the butterfly. Just like always you will find links down below to everything I used today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for watching today and I'll see you all next time.